This week on Fan Service, we talk about Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks, Sword Art Online, the Shonen Jump app, and suplexing princesses. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Cold open, yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh. Josh. <laughs> uh, Miles is the only one that didn't get the memo um, and did not wear black today. I'm a blossoming flower child. You're very colorful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Are your pants black? My what? Are your Are pants, pants black? black? No, they're green. Mm. They're green. They're green. So you look like a pant. You look like a plant. What were your socks? Your socks are mm, okay. Shoes? Wow. Yeah, you Nothing. Su- you oh. super fucked Nothing. up today. I got, you work at the complete opposite I got, of us. I got some black lines. Undies? My red. Wow. That's amazing that you know wow. just by feel. Just by feel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. How's Hello. it going? Hello. Welcome Hello. to mm. Fan Service, <laughs> Rooster Teeth's official nice, nice, anime nice, podcast. Nice, nice. I'm one of your hosts, Cole. I'm also one of your hosts, Isa. I'm Josh. You're like... You're a host now. You're probably like, you're on enough that you're a host. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I'm a host, and my name is Miles. And you're definitely a human. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely <laughs> the real Miles. Human, and not a replacement. The real Miles wore black today, like the memo said. Oh, Shut yeah. up! I, you negged me for my my floral outfit. No, it's beautiful. We, we but it's figured not black. out. We Look, figured out that black on black. Yeah. Did someone black. die? Black we figured out that <laughs> everything Miles is wearing today does not have a lick of. Black yeah. On any it. surprise in the new Pokemon? What? Uh, any, any surprise? That's, what you're, that's what you're mourning. Yeah. Though I'm like, I'm really happy because it told me which series I'm gonna get. Oh, which oh, yeah. one are you gonna? Okay. Get? Pokemon's it's anime adjacent. We can they, yeah, they have anime. an anime. It's we an can anime. talk about it real quick. We There's a new protagonist quick. of the new Pokemon series. There is. Oh yeah, that's right. And, Ash's new friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bash. No. Yeah. <laughs> Bash, grab him. <laughs> Bash, <laughs> grab him. <laughs> Come on in and enjoy us for the adventures of Bash Crabble. <laughs> Gotta get as many as you can. <laughs> He's also a bit more of a punk. He's he like, good time, mate. I'll he, Bash Crabble, my He just comes in and hits someone and steals your Pokemon. He's what? actually got a sword and shield. <laughs> Gotta <laughs> gotta collect them as many as he can because there's not all of them here no as long more. As you try, <laughs> it, it's physically impossible. It is. Right. Thanks, Game Freak. So did uh, did y'all see any of the leaks? I did. It's very disappointing. I don't give a shit about Pokemon Sword and Shield, so no. Yeah, I'm... we already talked about how you don't have any good taste in games. Oh, yeah. so, wow, wow. Just continue, continue. So you're disappointed. Oh, well, I mean, so the leaks, uh, as, as in the Pokemon evolutions, right? Okay, yeah. The the so, I'm. Crazy disappointed in Sobble. Sobble, of course, because Sobble's the crying one, right? The one that everybody, the that internet, everyone, just everyone was like, like oh, that's me. Yeah. And then yeah. it becomes like, because all of us are deeply it, wounded and open to vulnerability it, now, it, Sobble is what we so all want. It evolves learned. into. Hold on, first it evolves into the best thing ever, a My Chemical Romance fan. Yes. Okay. It's got like the swoop hair. Got are we able to get pictures yeah. at all? Like, so we, like, probably like, should, we probably skinny. shouldn't do pictures because they're doing takedowns. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, but it's like super skinny. It has like we uh, can probably get a hip with so a sass kind of pose it on it. Okay. So it looks like a little emo. It's like scene kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense. It's leaning into the sadness. Yeah, yeah. So then... Um, that's just a big my Michael 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 Michael. Yeah, My Chemical Romance is taking down podcasts <laughs> left and right, by the way. <laughs> they're back by burying the lead of this episode. My Chemical Romance is back. No, they're not. It's they are. S-O-B-B-L-E. Are they really? Yeah, I noticed last week that Ray Toro and Jared Way, Gerard Way were making music together on Gerard's uh, Spotify account. And then, like two days later, they announced um, look up Sobble, Evo- Sobble S-O-B-B, and then uh, Evolutions. Evolutions. If their album isn't called the Guess Who's Back Parade, then it's not even worth listening to. Oh, they're really <laughs> they're really taking them down. Yeah, they're we're not finding it. Oh no, that's not it. That's they're, it's fan, not anywhere there. Fan yeah, these are like well, no, like I, I joined a bunch of discords to be able to see what they were. Oh, okay, all right. Um, so yeah, we can't none, find it. They, none they, of those they, are it. None of those are it. Nintendo did what Nintendo do. It's the first time I've ever seen a Twitter oh, God, DMCA takedown. Oh whoa! Look, look, like if you click on middle. the images on Twitter below. Hold on. Um, Ew, that's ew. gross. Anyway, <laughs> IGN can't. Draw. We can't. We can't show any of this. So <laughs> I'm trying to avoid referencing that. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen like Twitter DMCA takedowns. Wow. Oh, but yeah, so like he goes from my comic romance fan to like a it's, spy. Is it? Yeah, what? it's like a French spy in like a wetsuit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, is he still? And sad? He's like, he's like no, no, he's, he's like suave anymore. and sexy and wants to bone. 
<laughs> Maybe this is this is Game Freak's way of trying to say like you might be sad now, but don't worry, kids, it gets better. <laughs> Even you two can or be an Game international Freak, like, glow up. Like, you glow, yeah, up, glow up. Yeah. Pulling back the facade and trying realizing that they're trying to make everyone a furry. I was uh, so they've been doing that for a while. I know, yeah. but it's now they're like fully like. Yeah, we're not even hiding anymore. This is awesome, isn't it? Um, uh, Score Bunny's evolution. I was talking to a friend about it, and um, we we saw the leak for the. I think it was the top one. I don't know, or the most final. evolved, the final evolve. And we were kind of just. I like screamed. That just looks like a shonen protagonist. It looks like the it, bunny from uh, Summer Wars. Uh, yeah. Really? No, but yeah. not as cool uh, because he looks it's like cool. smaller. It's still really cool. I don't know. Uh. Hard, hard pass on. Mom and dad are fighting. Mom I, and dad are fighting. So it looks like it looks like um a five foot boy with uh that looks like he can punch. And I'm right. like, I don't want to have a best friend as a Pokemon like that. <laughs> it starts to feel way more like slavery. To, yeah, I'm just like this makes me See, feel really I, weird. I had it in mind it was gonna be so much worse. Mm. Because they always fuck on the fire Pokemon and make them like <laughs> Super human or like very oh, yeah. human like what? Charizard, who's apparently the only okay. of the original starters to yeah. make it. Yeah, he's the, only, he's the only good starter. So fuck um, off, fuck <laughs> off. would like that. Nah. With you. Oh, where's Bulbasaur? Where is he? I don't. Yeah, and it's pissing everybody off because he's not here. They got rid of Best Boy. I haven't, heard it. I haven't heard it though. You're the first person to say they miss Bulbasaur. Hey, hey have a have a discussion with Reddit. They'll let you know. <laughs> I will definitely I'll not. I'll never do that. I'm not Doctor Reddit. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, Maybe the anime will be better. Yeah. I mean, oh, man. It comes out the week this this episode airs, right? It comes out the week this episode airs. Wow. Um, I mean, you still get it? it? Absolutely. Like, I've gotten every single Pokemon. Pokemon Sapphire That's is my favorite That's game fair. of all time. Mm. That's right. Mm. Also, the, that, like, just because some Pokemon aren't in it doesn't change the gameplay. Well, I wasn't sure. It sounded yeah. like there was more than just that you were disappointed about. Like, the I'm only just wanted one starter. Like, I love all the Pokemon. Don't, hey, oh, don't let oh. the starter evolve to the third form. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Well, also, oh. the one that I like, like, I was going to get Score Bunny no matter what. And it was like, okay, like that's why I thought the score bunny final evolution was gonna be so much worse. Cause like Cole's on board with Boy Slave. Um <laughs> Well, cause like that's Incineroar. Like Litten was the best of that. Like Litten, Rowlet, and uh oh, I liked the, the owl. Cat. The owl yeah. was cool. Oh, yeah, the owl. No. I got the owl. I guess um, I was like the grass type of Oh, the grass type one, Grookey for this one, he just gets more twigs. He turns into Tarzan. He gets more he gets more uh, sticks and oh I think his final one he has like a, he has a, a drum. Um, he has a drum. Yeah, the um the taiko drum. He's got like a swoosh of hair. He looks like Fabio. This sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds good. This yeah. is he's good. This he's good. <laughs> Grookey was solid all the way through. <laughs> hey Grookey. Thumbs up. There's Thumbs a, up, Grookey. <laughs> we Jordan Sears and I made a, um, a Grookey emoji because Grookey, <laughs> the way that he his final one sits is uh he just looks like he's waving. So yeah. then we have uh emojis of like Grookey one is just regular Grookey like this, and then Grookey two, you zoom in a little on his on his face, <laughs> and then Grookey three is his also his face. <laughs> it's just right close up here. But then Grookey four is just his hand. <laughs> That's very, very good. Uh, <laughs> while we're speaking of uh, visuals and things and whatnot, uh, now would probably be a good time to mention, because I don't know if we've mentioned on the show, but you, we've mentioned it via social meds. Social meds. Uh, fan service will be getting an audio-only version at some point. Yes, oh, yeah. I think. I hope they're out. Kyle, have we sent those audio files over? Kyle's Yay! giving us the thumbs up. Audio Yay, audio's here. So, so now it's on. It's it's out of our hands. As a, as a peek behind the curtain, you know, one of the goals, one of the hopes, the aspirations for fan service was to try and draw attention to the new animation YouTube channel. Yes. Um, but if you're like me, you don't typically Smash watch like, podcasts. Smash you, like button. Uh, you listen to podcasts, and uh, you know, we heard that more people wanted that too, and we were able to convince the powers that be. Yeah, and that we might some have some cool things coming down the line. I don't want to jinx it yet by saying what they are. That then allowed us to kind of like really do a push to go audio. So we mm. did hear you, and it actually y'all telling us that you wanted audio was a big push, Thank and why you. we went yeah. audio Thank again. Thank you for voicing your opinion. Yes. Um, hopefully, you did it politely and didn't just shout at people. <laughs> Everyone I saw was super polite. Like, hey, I really like this. I wish I could watch it. I wish I could listen while I was driving. Yeah, Don't watch yeah, while driving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, don't watch PSA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Carrie has a quick side tangent. Carrie has a Tesla and was very excited to show me all the games you can play on the Tesla. Oh, yeah, and right. I was like, when would you use that? And he's like, well, it <laughs> physically doesn't let you while driving. Yeah. And I was no, like, when, I, when, when do you drive the car? Like, playing no, the games. I could, of all the people, I could see Carrie sitting at home in his garage playing <laughs> his <laughs> Tesla pad. You don't have to worry about emission fumes. Exactly. Like, no carbon dioxide. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, oh, God. Okay, let's claw our way back to anime. What's um, been going down, y'all? There's an anime adjacent thing. Uh, Raina, a uh, friend of fan service. <gasps> 
friend yes. of fan service friend of us all friend of us all she has a new show coming up on um first we, first we feast called gochi gang and gochi it's gang. about Good. japanese food um i'm actually really excited to see it i remember she was talking to me about um filming in new york and stuff for this really cool thing and i was like Cool. <laughs> we I'm love so her. Happy for her. <laughs> so yeah, super jazzed. Yeah, very excited to watch. We'll have to try to get her back on for the food. I'll try to get her back on again. I miss. I miss Raina. Oh, yeah, Me too. Miss Raina. We all do. Yeah, Raina We all stand Raina. We all, we yeah. You. Stan Raina. I said stand. No, I made it so far without saying it unironically. That was the first time. Yeah. Oh, we popped your cherry. Oh, oh hate that. Mm, don't like that. Mm, you're not a fan of that. You're stand cherry. I don't know about that. Oh mm. Christ! Can we again claw our way back to anime? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we have like a, you have like a half anime, half. Yes. <laughs> it is really anime. It's related to my hero academia yeah. because Ooh. as of filming today, today is uh, November sixth. Yes. Um, there was no my hero episode this past. There weekend. was also no One Piece episode. <sighs> yeah. <gasps> I'm not. Yeah, I mean, just, just <laughs> I'm so way behind. Know, yeah. There was an anime this weekend, guys. Anime was canceled. <laughs> anime was canceled. <laughs> I, had, I panicked because for, a, it's been, a, you know, we've got a, a busy week going down over here as we're working on Ruby Volume 8. And uh, I panicked because I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't watch My Hero prior to recording. And I like rushed to like watch it. And I was like, oh wait, never mind. Anime gave me a pass this weekend. <laughs> um, but I was also sad because I want to see what's happening next. Yeah. After the boy jumped all over the room and then he yeah. and Mandark became friends, I just I need to know what's going to happen. Mandark. It's Mandark. Mandark. Look, his psychic is just adult Mandark, and I'm here for it because I've always been a fan of Mandark. You stand Mandark? Stand I dark? stand dark. Uh-huh. Stand dark. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> there was Only no... 90s kids look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was, anime was canceled this week. Why was of, anime canceled um, this weekend, Isa? Uh, the rugby. Wait, what? Rugby. Uh, there were rugby finals or something World airing. Cup. World Cup. And they're airing in Japan uh, on the TV. On the TV, And all the programs uh, were delayed. That's why? Yeah. Yep. Because sports. Fuck rugby. I Once mean, again, sports is just jocking on anime. No, just don't, 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 don't blame all sports. Don't blame all sports. No, just, I'm blaming all sports. Rugby. Football's never interrupted in anime. Um... <laughs> Oh, that, that makes all the sports mm. anime fans very conflicted. Yeah. <laughs> Between my two loves, yeah. there is a, that's crazy. There is a sports rugby. Anime. Do they do they do they share a same time slot? Or I was mean, it... probably my hero would because, from my understanding, and if you know better, please correct me. Um, what a dangerous thing to say into the void that is tends, the internet. Anime tends to air at the same in the same blocks as it does in the West, where most anime is kind of late night programming. Okay. Oh. 2 an adult swim hour. 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Uh, wow. the, the anime that is well liked, like, like Attack on Titan PM. and uh, My Hero and One Piece, probably gets a prime time slot. That Cartoon yeah. Cartoon Friday's time slot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, I will admit, I don't know the rules of rugby. I don't know if there are overtime. You're not an expert in the field? I'm not. That's the only sport I'm not an expert in. Weird. Weird. That's strange. <laughs> um, and so I don't know if there's overtime that it could bleed over into that slot. Like mm-hmm. my hero was because like that happens with um, I just say in football never does this, but like that happens with, like the Simpsons and Family Guy and stuff oh, on Fox yeah. where football might the afternoon football game might run long. Oh, yeah. That's true. And then you don't get a. I suppose if one sport were to take the place <laughs> of shonen anime for a weekend, it does check out that it's rugby. No, it should be wrestling. You think wrestling? Well, okay, all right. Because mm. it's just anime. <sighs> That's true. Uh, I I was getting hung up on calling yeah. wrestling a sport because I consider it to be more theater with great athleticism. But yes. maybe now we're just now we're just now we're just arguing semantics yeah. here. You're gonna find out tonight. Miles yeah. is gonna come watch wrestling. We're gonna watch AWE oh, right. for the yeah. first time. Oh, AEW. 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 Uh, it's gonna oh, be so right. good. Kenny Omega. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, Kenny Omega just up his hands. Just up his hands. He also comes out to like anime music. And he stuff always too, comes right? out to One Winged Angel. What's oh, that that's, from? Uh, that's Sephiroth's Sephiroth. theme from Final Fantasy. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. This entire episode, let's just do anime uh, adjacent. Oh, it's all okay. no, so, anime. What? Speaking of wrestling, I have been oh. watching a show. Okay. Oh, Which show? And I think I want to explain it to you guys. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, okay. So let's step into the world. Okay. Okay. Gosh, just nods. Have we read it? I guess we, we alluded to it. Cole Explains was a very popular. Popular. Segment from <laughs> fan service. Sean Hines told me to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if Daddy Hines is bringing it in, let's Daddy talk. Let's, all right, go ahead and explain it to me. This is when Cole tries to very succinctly explain succinctly. a show to us. All right, so uh, there's a show. First off, side note. Okay. Uh, beginning of Cole Great explains. Start. 
always happens. Side notes. Okay. Oh. Um, Funimation cleaned up this season. Wait, what? Funimation got all of the good shows. Really? Like, oh, everything okay. that's worth watching, like Funimation got first crack at. Oh, okay. So I tip of the hat. Congrats nice. to them. Um, I'm going to be talking about Kimono Michi. Kimono Michi. Yeah. Rise up. Uh, I do like uh, the colon. <laughs> so, you know, what's everyone's favorite genre of anime? Isekai, uh, you're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do we take an isekai and make it even better? Because I know you're asking. Isekai is the transporter to another world. Yes, one, right? fish yeah. out of water. Um, so I know Miles, you're like sitting there. Miles, yes. how do you make it better? And you're right. You're correct. Uh -huh. You do start with a wrestler, a professional wrestler uh -huh. who's sitting in the green room, and he's like, oh. When I'm done, I'm ready. I'm gonna live my dream. I'm gonna go out and finally achieve my dream. And like the guy comes, and is like, "Oh, you're the best wrestler that's ever wrestled, kid. You uh -huh. gotta, you gotta keep going." And uh -huh. He's like, "No, once I win this World Cup, I'm done. Oh. I'm out." And so he goes <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm gonna pursue a career in acting, maybe starting with the Scorpion King, and then moving on from there. And so he goes and gets ready to wrestle, and he uh, he starts beating up the guy, and he's winning. And he's like, "I'm gonna do his finisher move," and he dives in the air. And all of a sudden, he's like, just thinking about like, "Oh, I can't wait till this is done." I just want to go live my dream. This uh -huh. is all I've ever wanted in life. And all of a sudden, like, light starts appearing around him. And everyone's like, the announcer's like, oh, and he's doing his final move, and he's gone, and he's disappearing. What? <laughs> is this some kind of new ploy? Is this going to be a new trick? <laughs> um, and he falls down in the center of this castle. Oh he's like, what am I doing? Oh, God. What in the, oh, my fucking God. What in tarnation am I doing in this castle? Oh, cool. What is this beautiful princess in front of me? Oh, oh my, my God. God. What is she about? And she's like, oh, sir, we're so glad we've summoned the strongest warrior. Um, please, no. <laughs> you must help us defeat the demon emperor. He's like, what? She's like, yes, demons ravage the countryside, and we've finally summoned you to help us defeat the demon emperor. He's like, wait a second, who is, you want me to fight demons? She's like, yes. So he then, like, calmly walks up behind her and, like, puts his hands around her. She's like, oh, hold on. Please wait. This can wait till after the Demon Lord's order, or at least till other people leave the room. And he he like tightens his grip, and German suplexes her. <laughs> and he's like, "How dare you ask me to beat up animals?" Because he reveals his dream is to run a zoo, where he can share his love with all the animals of the world. So then all the guards start chasing him out because he just like uh, bashed the princess. Um, so he runs out in the alley and he starts like looking around. He's like, "Whoa, there's a cat girl right there." And there's like a full-on wolf boy. I there's wanna, so much. I want to pet them. So he runs up and starts to like, uh, well, they're trying to jump him. They're trying to uh, uh, sell him into slavery. And so then he starts petting them, and the, they stop like trying to sell him into slavery. The story of a simple <laughs> wrestler who knows no boundaries. <laughs> and so while he's like tickling the, the wolf man. Wolf. Um, uh -huh. Wolf, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, he hears a commotion coming from the side. Not a he, commotion. He looks over, and there's a guy like yanking on this girl's. She's tied up and he's like yanking her out and she's like, oh no, please don't sell me to a, a rich lord who would uh, give me filet mignon every day and do all this stuff. And he's like, what kind of rich lord would want a wolf girl as a, as a, as a pet or whatever? And so, uh, he, of course, the wrestler, who, uh -huh. who's a friend to all animals, no matter gender, no matter shape, no matter uh, long fur, short fur... Uh, red fur, orange fur. Um, I feel like we don't need fur, all of these uh, specifics, but all okay. All the furs. Um, he goes and suplexes that guy and beats okay. up that oh. guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the, right. all of them, it turns out that he was friends with the wolf and cat girl. Okay. So they go run away. Obviously. And he's like, oh, miss, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, sure. Um, uh, yeah, fuck, I guess. She was like, please don't hurt me. He was like, oh, it stinks, <laughs> it stinks that he, was, he kidnapped you, selling him to slavery. She's like, well, he actually didn't kidnap me. What? He's like, what? And he's like, yeah, she, uh, she was like, yeah, uh, I borrowed a bunch of money from him and, at, like, and said, if this doesn't, if I don't pay you back, you can sell me to a rich noble. <laughs> okay. So he's like, oh, so I guess I'm kind of in the wrong here. So anyways, <laughs> they run around town for a little bit and find out, um, a bunch of Cerberuses are attacking. Avi. Okay. So, Avi. um, yeah. he then happens. runs out and like, they're going to kill the Cerberuses, but he grabs them and hugs them and Yo, turns them into good pets. And he fuck? goes, you know what? Oh. Instead of killing the demons of this world, I'm going to open up a fantasy animal and demon petting zoo. Oh my God. And that's, that's, that's the, the, that's the goal of the show. That's the first episode. Oh um, my there's God. There's so much. This is like the world's tallest cake with the amount of layers. You have pre there. Uh, I don't know where to start with this. Oh my god! I honest to god don't. First off, orcs animals in his mind or demons. So or in the in the intro, he's fighting some orcs. He he okay. makes a wrestling ring okay. at his at his arena at his uh, obviously, stables. Obviously, obviously, of course, obviously, of course, obviously, obviously, of course. Obviously, obviously. Um, the thing that I find interesting about this, 
Where does he draw the line between what is animal and what is not animal? Because some would argue that we is animal. We smart, if, no if hair we, monkey. If, if we claim to be human, he, okay. he's like, okay, I like humans, but he loves animals. Okay, is it okay a, but then like... That's a little but, bit but of it. What about a little the, bit of a sex thing. It's not thing. like... <laughs> it's everything. Okay. It's like a little bit of sexual, but also like... He's just like, oh, like, I just want to hug and like be the best like animal friend. Here's my question. What was his super move? Like what's his what's does he have like what's he's his like shtick? Because like every is he just like generic wrestler oh, or does he have like he a, wears like a mat he wears like a, t- a lion like mask oh okay. yeah it kind of like a luchador okay. it looks a little bit it's okay, more okay, like Japanese okay. wrestling so oh, it's okay, like okay, the, yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 okay oh and okay. they keep calling him a pervert because he's running around in his tights that's nice. very good that's that nice. is very good nice. okay and he's like I'm not a pervert I'm a wrestler and they're like I'm not a pervert now come here and let me tickle you yeah that's pretty much exactly what happens um okay 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 Issa had a question um but um. Do you does he qualify like the cat and the wolf people? So the the wolf boy is like a full on werewolf looking dude. Oh, okay. The cat girl is like a cute cat, like a cute girl with cat ears. Okay, okay. And then the wolf girl's a cute girl with wolf ears and a wolf tail. Oh. And he's like, I've pet a dog so, before, and I've pet a g- cat before, but I've never pet a wolf girl. So it's, so it's RPG armor rules. Yeah. If you're boy, you, you are big you're big yeah. If you're a girl, you, you still look like we can fuck you. I forgot you. at the end, he was like, yes, us three, I mean, us four are going to start up our own petting zoo. And uh, they're at the table. He also has a tiny puppy that is the cutest thing on the planet. So he's oh, like, I'm back on board. Okay, I'm, I'm back, back on, on board. board. I'm on board. And this is going to get you even more on board because she's like, yeah, us four. Wait, what? And she turns and there's just a bug guy sitting at the table with him. What up? My name's he's Jeremy. Got, he just goes, <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> what the fuck? He turns to it, looks at them and goes, okay, da, da, da. okay, 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 okay. So the, the goal of this protagonist is to create a fantasy zoo in this new world that he's yes. found himself in. He's not questioning anything else. He's just here for it. Yes. Okay, tight. Kyle, can you pull now, up Kimono Michi? I just want to show you guys can see this okay, just okay, so okay. we can get it. And like at home, go Google Kimono Michi Rise it's an Up. interactive podcast. Yes. <laughs> so um, now I want to ask you... Your predictions, yeah, with this show because look up the the video, look up OP. My my thing is how I hope what I hope is going to happen here is in his pursuit to open up a fantasy zoo, he will first bring the wonderful world of wrestling to this fantasy world. He and is, yeah, like the the eye catches in the oh, middle are the no. the cute ca- the cute animal girls in wrestling clothes. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, that one, that okay, top okay. one right there. You can just play that. Okay. The, Here's the thing that's brilliant about this, because yeah. as we've said before, oh fuck yeah! As we said before, anime and wrestling are might as like might as well be the same thing. Yes. the The broke idea is let's make an anime about wrestling. The woke idea is let's make anime cliches and tropes wrestle, <laughs> and that's what I hope this show will become yes. a show about fantasy trope characters. Suddenly taking on wrestling See, personas. Like he's got like a, a griffin. He's got a pegasus. A cute dragon girl. Aww. All the animals. This, uh, can I just say too, this opening song is giving me hardcore <laughs> like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, it's like old like 90s type. Guys, guys hey, I saw the puppy. Hey, he's so There's cute. There's a princess he suplexes. Oh. The puppy's so cute. Oh, also, okay. uh, whenever he suplexes the princess, he thinks that they're upset because her panties are showing. So he puts his cape on her. <laughs> There's a bug! So oh, you gentleman. missed it! There I was the bug! It. The bug was on screen. Rewind by 10 seconds. Lord. Okay, this I This is great I for do, audio podcast medium. So, like, I do want to admit that um, the designs are actually kind of... Uh, as a protagonist, he's so bulky yeah. that it's actually a refreshing thing to see. It is, yeah. Because he's not, like, a skinny boy. He's he's a thick boy. Yeah. yeah. And, like, he is very strong in the series. Like, that's a whole thing is that yeah. he's very strong. Okay. Um... And it's because he's like the best wrestler. Uh, she just ate the cookie. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's a very good opening. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little intrigued. <gasps> I'm a little intrigued. Ooh, cold. I succeeded. One over. You did more. It, you did did you watch explain. this, Josh? Watch the first episode. Oh, oh really? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, I was very confused. <laughs> how, Josh, how accurate was I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> On a scale from son of a bitch, zero percent to one hundred percent. Yes. 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 Damn, <laughs> damn really Daniel. Good. Wow. Okay. So this is not the first time Cole's um, explanation has won someone over. Yeah. Well, because last week, last time I was on, uh, I explained a uh, first time ever, a podcast exclusive. Cole explains a manga, <laughs> and yeah. I got one. 
I did. And you started watching. Get... You started watching the. Was, I was reading it. Was I also Thank got you. Richard an editorial. I told him he should read it. <gasps> Wait, he likes it. He loves it. It's so good. He's like, she's the cutest gotta, girl on the planet. It's it. so good. Gotta read it. So, um, I mean, the, this also could segue. Uh, what is it? Um, the Shonen Jump app is actually really cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Shonen Jump app. Shonen Jump app. Awesome. Yeah. Um, they it's like uh I've always read those illegal um manga apps where they We got of, her! Oh, <laughs> finally we got her to admit it, boys! Ring of the cubs! God! Years, don't, years we've been waiting for this thing! We were, the whole reason fan service existed, we we're trying to get you to admit to your s- anime cross! I so like anime. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching all this stuff in the gym! <laughs> Oh fuck! No, but I do want to say, like, it is tough when there's so much manga and even anime that is not licensed in the right. U.S. Yeah. And we definitely want to support the people who are making this. Make it easier for us. But it sounds like Shonen, Shonen Jump, Jump app, app is, is good, so yeah. good. They fixed all the problems that used yeah. to be on there. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, when I had like um, uh, when I used to read it on like this these apps that would just upload mm-hmm. like um, illegal scanlations and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, so you had a whole slew in the library, but Shonen Jump app, I mean, one, you get it directly from the source. So the scans are always HD. Oh yeah. Um, and the translations are actually official, yeah. uh, including all the spellings and stuff. So it looks like qu- really quality. Um, so I was already really impressed just by like, oh, I might, I might just do, I might actually pay $2 a month just so I can read. All oh, it's only manga. two bucks a month. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it gives you dog. My Hero, oh, gives you One Piece. And it's gives all the you... recent chapters too. Dog. It's, it yeah. is one day after they uh, release in Japan. Release in Japan. Wow. Weekly. Yeah. Okay. So it's nuts. Um. So Spy X Fam, Spy Family, or Spy X Family is on there. Oh my god! I started um texting Cole like later, like uh-huh. at midnight, just pictures. Yeah, we were, wow. <laughs> we had a thread of pictures of the little girl and her doing her different things. Can I ask? Is it uh like uh, does it support a bunch of different e-readers and stuff, or is it primarily like phone it's, tablet? A uh, phone tablet, I think it's just on the app itself. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, you, you can actually buy and or read manga on like Kindle. Mm. Um, but the app you need to get the app. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Are you asking like for Surface? Yeah, oh. I don't know. Surface tends to act more like a t- uh, a computer than a tablet. Yeah, so I don't um, know if you'd have to like. There might be like a I don't know. Well, I would yeah. assume if it you pay be... for the app, it's like it's a it's like a, an account thing, and you would have a well, Shonen Jump account so you, you can, can use on the website. You can get yes, you can get the <clears> app, <throat> and you can actually read like you don't have you don't have to subscribe. You get like. <laughs> They have like certain select free issues and oh, volumes cool. that are available for free, and it's like not anything to like shake off either. It's like sure. actually a sizable amount of content. Mm-hmm. Mine was just there's so much backlog. Like that's how I read all mm-hmm. Demon Slayer. Oh yeah. Um, mm-hmm. that's how I've been reading uh like Boku Ben and uh My Hero, yeah. like going back and because there's like the stuff that's airing now or that's publishing now. There's a wide uh, margin between the re- like the volume releases. Mm. Mm. So if you were buying volume releases, you're normally like about three months behind or something. Okay. Mm. So if you want to get like caught up and get like ahead, then that's like the best way to do it. Cool. Um, all of their series that they have on there, the first three chapters are free. Oh, nice. So you don't need an account to actually like get into something. Nice. You can just click and read. Mm. But yeah, it's cool. I like Spy Family. Have you picked up anything else? Um, I did download Demon Slayer. Um, I saw Callie, uh, a friend of ours. Um, hmm. she talked about Act Age. Ooh, yeah, I've heard. Um, I want, I really uh, want. the way she, uh, I knew about it because she had tweeted like, "Act Age is what Skip Beat wanted to be before the romance," and I laughed. And only I would get this. I and was maybe say, select I don't know any of the yeah. things yes, that you've said. Yeah, uh, select members of the audience will get this. I get this. You guys don't. <laughs> um, but it's about an acting. Um, it's about acting. This girl wants to be an actress, primarily mm-hmm. take care of her family. But the way oh. she approaches acting is actually, it's an interesting standpoint uh, or an, a point of view because this one director sees her and like, oh, she's an actress. She's great. But everyone else around her who is like more experienced in acting, she's a good actor. She's a great method actor. Everyone who else around her is kind of like, that's actually very unhealthy. She's going to destroy herself Ooh. if she continues Some to Black think Swan acting shit. this way. Dang. Yeah. Some Jin and Mugen. You don't have the skill. You don't know. You didn't go through the training. You're just winging it. <laughs> You're just winging it. Yeah. So her perception of acting, it's going to, I think it's an interesting premise. Um, yeah. I'm interested. interested in the fact that it's a shonen and it's not a shoujo. Mm. So there's a shoujo, one of my favorite series of all time, Skip Beat, uh, is a shoujo monthly series. 
Uh, they also have an anime that came out a while ago, um, only 26 episodes. So the manga is further beyond. It's JoJo, so it primarily focuses on relationships and romance. Mm -hmm. But it is about a girl who finds acting as a way to like take revenge on this person who took advantage of her. Whoa. But she, it turns out she has a, she has a natural aptitude for it. Wow. So it's about her growth as like an actress and her figuring out that she loves acting. But how can she continue to act? If her motivations aren't art revenge, pure. Yeah. yeah, cool. Um, so I really love Skip Beat, uh, primarily because it's actually it, at first it really was about like this girl, and it was concentrating about her career, not mm. necessarily about her romances and stuff. The romance comes later. Um, I still like it. It's it's really slow right now though. Gotcha. It's it's what happens. <laughs> but um, that reminds me of another. I I don't know if you guys read a lot of manga or not, mm -mm. but as usual, back in the days when I read a lot of illegal stuff, um. I was looking through this. I was hoping it was in the app too, but it's so it's an older series. Uh, published first in two thousand two, in Shonen Jump, um, it's called Pretty Face, um, mm. and the premise is nuts. So it's a comedy. <laughs> okay. It's a comedy manga. Okay. Um, back in the day, I remember I was looking for something good to read, and I was like, I'm feeling horny. I kind of want a horny thing. Hell yeah. So Hell yeah. <laughs> comedy etchy. Always. Me. Always. Always horny. <laughs> um, and uh, a lot of people online really like the series. It's called Pretty mm. Face, and the premise is this guy who's like really into fighting he's almost gangster like but he's mm -hmm. uh like really good at fighting a very, a, a very tyler durden like yeah. goku <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was some specific kind of like a uh, specific kind of fighting or something maybe like judo um he is really big into that stuff he's known for it for mm -hmm. like being a fighter but he's also not as um familiar or i don't remember him having like a lot of close friends and stuff mm -hmm. he's really in love with this girl at a school but he's Aww. too shy to confess to her Aww. so so where's the horniness he only in? knows how to speak with his <laughs> fist oh, so wait, oh let me I'll just wait for it um so oh, no. one day yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> one day he gets in a really bad accident oh, no. his entire body is burned to the point of not re no, oh my no god recognition. not the accent i was expecting and okay. um he's in a coma for a year he tried to fight a fire <laughs> <laughs> come here <laughs> wait is this guy just named yusuke <laughs> yusuke my house? House? <laughs> not yusuke urameshi so urameshi so um <laughs> So he's in a coma for a year. He wakes up after a year, yeah. looks in a mirror. He's, he's not, not atrophied. He, he atrophied. No, he's not him anymore. Someone they took like this doctor who's into experimental plastic surgery, did plastic surgery on him. He looks like the girl that he's in love with because the only picture. Eject! Wait, the only picture they had as a reference for him because all of his stuff was burnt. The only picture they had as a reference on him was the picture of the girl that he loved. That's okay. Stop the podcast. What fucking line of thinking <laughs> is that? This doctor what? who's like, who could this person be? Do we have any DNA tests? Do we have any immediate family? No, but he has a picture in his wallet. <laughs> that is probably him. <laughs> it's not a license or anything. It's a, a clearly like... Look at there's like some marking where you like rub his thumb against it because you're like, oh, one day. Nope, that's him. <laughs> so, they, yo, I just, oh man, I can't wait, guys. So, um, <laughs> so he's obviously freaking the f fuck out because he's like, oh God, this is not me. Who the F are you? Because the doctor is, of course, a horny guy too. So he's like, well, this was, this was obviously a hot version. So, I mean, of course, I wanted to do this thing. And he's like, F you. So, like, um, this is such against the Hippocratic Oath. <laughs> Oh, we're past that. I told you he was an experimental plastic surgeon. Okay, so this guy who is now looks like he has the face of his okay. his love, a pretty yeah. face, a pretty face. Um, he's out and about. He's like running away, right? He's like, the fuck this shit. So he's like trying to. Very important Time question. Out. Is it just facial reconstruction? No, it's it's like hair. It's body. Does, it's everything. Yeah, he has got dangling. I don't know. Okay, they didn't no, show that. No, I don't know if he does actually. Okay, but it's 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 horny. So there was actually I remember in some part of the manga there was a hot springs trip. Go on. Okay, so <laughs> going back to the beginning, he is out and about. He's he's uh, he's going around. He's really depressed because like this isn't me because he tries to find his old life. It's been a year. It turns out his parents, he has no life anymore because his parents just up and left after the tragedy of him passing. Mm -hmm. and they don't, they sold their house. What? He has no family <laughs> hold anymore. On, hold on. What so happened? Gone. No, no. When my, when I my told you he's in a coma. When my grandpa passed away, we, I used to live in uh, fucking Anchorage, Alaska. We had to pack up a move. We just couldn't he deal with it. He didn't pass away. He just was had in, to pack up a move. He didn't we pass away, do. though. He was in a coma. No, but he, he, he was in a coma. No one knew that he was still alive, though, because his body was burnt beyond recognition. Just like grandpa. Okay, so they, there was just a guy in a coma. 
nobody knew it was main character. Yes. Okay. So like he's he Just in like the middle ball. of him like having this mental breakdown of oh my god no one's around 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 the corner comes the girl that he's in love with and she's like are you he a looks, mirror? He looks she remember he looks exactly like her. She starts crying because she thinks he's her sister that ran away from home, her twin sister that Just ran like away grandpa. from home. <laughs> and you said this gets very <laughs> horny. Yes, because he learns that uh, she had such a close relationship with her sister. Um, Go on. Her sister ran away from home to be like a beautician or something. She had such a close relationship with her sister. He, she's so happy to see him that he decides, <laughs> he decides to pretend he has amnesia and lives with her. As her sister, is this, is this an ongoing series? Is it it still finished. going? Oh, it finished. Is it I on gonna, the app? I, I was going to say it's not. Oh. Which makes me very you just made sad. me super interested in something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can spoil because oh, so I, I can tell you how it ends. I can tell you how it ends. How does it end? Um, well, you know, obviously, he and the girl they're living together. They're finally like he finally defi- decides to like confess the truth of like who he actually is, and then she's yeah. like, "Well, I have something to tell you too. You're in hell. You died, and you're in hell." <laughs> Welcome to hell, because that's the only place imaginable where any of this shit flies. If she rips off her space, it's him. <laughs> no, wait, no! Scratch the dumb shit I just said. That's how it ends. That's how it ends. All right. Fuck me. It is, oh my god. It is published. We should make an anime. We should. <laughs> it is published by Viz, however. Okay. It wow. is published in English. Wow. Um, so it is out. Um, and you find it about. It's really good. It's, yeah. it's genuinely good. It like, of course, like there are people who find out about a secret throughout the course of the manga, but it ends up being. Did they become compatriots, like par- partners, and yes, in in his uh thing, I guess. Um, uh, but people, um, what's the word? Uh, it and it's about the relationships that he finds out like this girl has, and how he does want to make her happy. Aww. Um, he's actually like a soft boy at heart. Um. Because he really wants to do everything for this person that he loves. He's Even still, though it's a little creepy. He's, <laughs> um, he's still good at fighting? He's still good at fighting. So, of course, it's like really good action scenes with panty shots. And Because um, remember, he's a, a girl. Horny. He's a little yes. horny. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it's about ends up being more about like relationships and the relationships they have. Um, and stuff like that. What it, I guess his end game truly is a selfless one. And he just wants to make this girl happy because... At no no way can he achieve his original selfish goal, which is to be with this girl. Because in order to do that, not only would this girl have to like totally be down with the lesbian scene, but would also Incest. have to be incestual. Incestuous. And I think that's probably w- a few too many bridges. But, see, one of my predictions is that <clears throat> the sister's going to show up at some point. Who's going to show up? The sister, the actual sister, would uh, show up yeah. at some point, and then it's just like polyamory. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a third bridge. Just smiles. Just. Are you are you proud? Are you proud of yourself? No, of course not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway, that's I, what you'll be known for. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> that's Miles your brand, polyamory. Miles. That's your brand, Miles. Hey, man, I'm just saying, I have nothing against polyamory. True. It's just a lot of bridges that you got to cross I, I in this situation. Against, I do have stuff against incest. <laughs> Incestual <laughs> lesbian polyamory. We haven't established what this girl's only into. Only two of those are bad, or only two of those are good. <laughs> Wait, one of them is very bad. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was, I kind of, rem- I was, um, seeing friends over the weekend and we were talking, we randomly talked about manga that was like, we had thought was really good at the time. Um, and that just reminded me like, oh, pretty face. And I really just want to read it again. It was, I get that. It was really good. Yeah. It's the, yeah. I like, I remember the first time I watched like Sword Art Online, I was like, this is some next level shit. And like, there's still, th- there's parts of that show that have pl- plenty of merit Apparently and the it's a very, season's su- good. very successful show. <laughs> like, um, but it your is. tastes change oh, as you yeah. as you Josh grow. is watching the so, new season yeah. of Sword Art Online. Yeah. Everybody good. has those shows like that like yeah. you yeah. like it at a time, maybe you change, maybe you come back to it. Yeah. it sounds like yeah. you won't, maybe you won't even come back to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the best part is it's done. So. Can you, there you go. <laughs> so you're, you're watching it currently. I, yes. I watched the first part of last season and I liked what was going on. The elicitation, whatever the name is. Yeah. 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 So Sword Art did a cool thing. I thought it was cool where essentially the first episode of last season, they kill Kirito. Oh, cool. Um, Finally? And they put him in a machine that's like he's brain dead, oh, wow. but they had oh. been using his brain to try to develop AI. Whoa. Like, because he Didn't was. They already? Because he had a daughter that was an AI fairy. He's talking about like full on, oh, like, like smart AI. We like... can download AI from oh, a. Okay. We can, like, essentially, if you are like, have potential to become brain dead. We can download your memory now. Oh, go, go to the shell, alter carbon, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was, since he had been, had so much experience diving, 
and they were like, oh, well, you, if you're willing to, we can pay you a lot. We can help you and Asuna get to the college you want to go to. Like, we can set you up to do everything you want to do. And so he gets killed. Like, it's a remnant of one of the survivors of the first SAO. Mm. Comes up and injects him with the, a needle, uh, killing him. It's mm. one of the death gun guys. Yeah, it's one of the death. It's the, oh. remember in the second season of Sword Art where... Mm. Uh, the guy in the game would shoot a person, and then in real life, a person would go inject him with a lethal dose to be like, "Oh, you die in the game, you die in real oh, life." Oh, that's what that because I stopped watching after the fairy one. So that was the that's second fair. season. That was okay. the. That's fair. So what yeah. I normally how it goes is the first half of each season is really interesting and kind of like cool, and then the second half kind of falls off. Mm. Right. Um, I think Alicization was kind of good through the entire thing. Mm. I don't know. It got. I tuned out when the weird rapey stuff started happening. Oh, yeah. Again? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like, not never a good thing. Two upperclassmen, like, <laughs> to tie bring down up. underclassmen, and they're, they're, those two are, like, Kirito and Blonde Kirito. Uh, blonde Kirito, yeah. Uh, his, <laughs> Josh Lasky. There's Kirito true. and Blonde Kirito. It's, it was, like, his, like, they're, like, uh, squires, and he, like, ties them up, and they're, like, oh, we're nobles. We get to do whatever we want. And then mm. Kirito and Blonde Kirito come in, and the whole, thing is, that, the whole thing is that they're testing the AI of whether you can break the rules. We're gonna uh, set up all these rules. True AI can break the rules. Okay. Okay. True like, AI and ig ignore the code. Mm. And like yeah. Blonde Kirito is like can't, and so his eyeball busts open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Damn, Blonde Kirito. Uh, Get that oh, check. That's all last season. So what? Like this season, it's basically the same stuff. Like that continue. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's oh. a continuation of last season, obviously. But like so um, or how how spoiler can we get here? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Go okay, for it. Cool. I'm not a Tessa. Yeah. So basically, SAO spoiler warning. Yeah, so basically at the end of the last season, they're going through this entire world and they're uh, fighting basically the administrator of this world who's, yeah. whose main plan to fight like the dark side of this virtual world is to turn a large chunk of the human population into basically weapons. Uh -huh. yeah. So Kirito and Blanc Kirito go and fight uh, this person, th yeah. like the whole like rapey stuff, whatever. Yeah. They end up killing those people, right? Which yeah. ends up incarcerating them, Choice. which actually gets them closer yeah. to the administrator. Oh, cool. That's sort of like a oh. weird roundabout way of doing it. And that. that's where like Alice is. Yes. Yeah. So Alice was a character that uh, gets taken away for actually breaking some of the, I think they call them like the, the taboo index the, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So she ends up getting taken away and she gets turned into an integrity knight where all of her memories are stripped out, this and that, and she becomes basically like a super powerful knight. Mm. Okay. So Kirito, Blanc Kirito fight through this tower of all these people uh, and then eventually kill the administrator, but then something happens on the outside world where they're basically on like a giant like oil rig thing, oh. yeah, they like call it the turtle. Very Metal Gear. It, yeah. it looks exactly like Metal Gear. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Um, well, in, in Metal Gear fashion, a bunch of like <laughs> soldiers, like mercenary soldiers, come in and they're like, "Oh, we want this technology for some fucking reason." Metal Whatever. Gear. They start. They start explaining why they came and raided okay. it in Kyle, this season. Can you pull up U G O E U G E O? Blonde Kirito. Yeah. But uh, oh. so the the at the end of the season. That raid happens. They get into the power room, and you know Kirito's in the, f the huge Oculus Rift, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> and then, like, they they cut the power oh, for like Kirito. a tiny bit, and then his brain just goes. Boom. <gasps> so basically, Kirito is just like nerfed, like super nerfed so that, right whoa. now. That's what I'd seen. Like everything, all of like the intros and stuff for this new season, I haven't seen Kirito in any of like the marketing oh. material. He's in he's in very few shots so far. Oh. It seems like Alice is the main character right now. Hell yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Interesting. Oh, every time you kept saying Blonde Kirito, I was like, "Oh, initials BK Burger King." B uh, Burger King. Yes. yes Burger King. Like, Burger can we King. call him Burger King? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Cool. Absolutely. So Kirito and Burger, Burger King. King. <laughs> <laughs> his eyeball bust. Oh, that's And actually what you does mean by bust, bust open. Yes. Yeah. So it's like so Kirito is able to ignore the rules because he's not actually part of the AI. They call it like the Fluck Flight like it's supposed to be a simulation, a organic made simulation for all these people living in this world. They don't know that they're living in a simulated world. Of course, uh, like it, us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main take around. Down. She knows too much. <laughs> oh no! First the illegal Asa, manga, we're, now this. Yeah, we're getting you on all the charges. <laughs> but uh, if you try to break the taboo index, basically you're you get like a huge migraine. You're like, oh my eye, and then oh. it, it can potentially bust. Yeah. Gotcha. Whenever you guys say bust, I can't help but thinking about bad things. You, you're horny right now. Bustin, 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 I told you guys bustin. I was feeling horny. <laughs> Today speaking I'm of, horny. So. Speaking, of, speaking of turning people into weapons, continuing to watch No Guns Life, uh, yeah. and got to our first interesting antagonist question mark characters. Yeah. Um, where this show is now really starting to be like, yeah, fuck it, we'll do whatever the fuck we want. Oh no. Where it's like, the the, the episode does something interesting. What well, started as interesting and then got frustrating. Where um. 
you know, one of our, uh, like, the main target so far of, like, yeah. the season is there's this kid escaped from, like, the fucking Waylon yutani ass corporation. His whole thing is he has a, a, an extension called Harmony that allows him to control the subbrains of other extended. Yeah. So if you have, like, if you're a cyborg, essentially, he has the only thing in the world that he can control you and get into your body and move you around. Yeah. And he does that to the main character, Resolver. Yeah. And at first it's, like, very cool. But then I love Resolver's my favorite character. Yeah. And for a while, for the most for the whole episode, it's just this kid in Resolver's body. And I'm like, give me Resolver back. Yeah, stop. But, Leave us all um, alone. It leads to this uh this altercation with these two um these two girls that also seem to be escapees from not Whalen Yutani. Yeah. Um and it seems as though they have been told if you bring us back the Harmony kid, the kid that Resolver rescued from Not Whalen Yutani, um, if you bring him back. We'll finish repairing you, and you'll be free to go. So essentially, they're pitting experimental prisoners against one another. It's a very cool setup. Yeah. Um, this is when they went buck wild with that, in which they see Resolver unknowingly being possessed by Harmony Kid. Uh, ten, ten, Tetsuo? No, it's not Tetsuo. Got it up. <laughs> um, anyways, they're like, "Hey, sorry, we gotta fight you." Uh, yo, Annie, like, do your thing. And that's when this little blonde girl grows like an entire spider body out the bottom of her Go like on. surgical dress and is like horrifying. Oh. She essentially looks like a normal girl, but like everything below the dress. I, I think her legs are still there. It looks like it's just coming out of her oh. and it's very upsetting. Oh. And she like loses control for a sec, but then like she like transforms back and it's like blinding light. And now she's just normal again. Okay. So it's, it's kind of just like, oh, fuck it. Let's not worry too much about how, Again, we have a character who has a gun for a head. Like, let's not worry too much about how it actually let's scientifically like the, works. The let's just physics. have a cool spider girl that can't yeah. control herself when she's in, like, mm. battle mode, mm. which is cool. Jokes, they keep, they keep kind of making jokes about that, though. Like, there's an amazing scene where Resolver and, like, a not Yakuza guy essentially yeah. have, like, a standoff. And big Yakuza guy, like, presses his forehead up against them. They're essentially having this, like, intimidation stare down. And then eventually Yakuza guy's like... <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Resolver. Kind of hard to stare a guy down when you don't know where his eyes are. And Resolver's <laughs> like, I get that a lot. It's like, <laughs> it's like the third time in the show where someone's been like, how do you see, though? <laughs> I like that they're calling it out yeah, as well. Again, it's like, I'm going to keep watching it. It's not like, it's still not this grabbing a- me, but there's just enough where I'm like, that was kind of fun. So that I was kind of I'm really impressed because this is the most excited, not excited, well, maybe excited? I've seen you about an anime that's not like one of the big ones each season. Like you're maybe, like, maybe that's what it is. It yeah. just feels like my own little thing that I've kind of like stumbled upon yeah, yeah, with yeah, the help of this show. That. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I can see that. I'm, I'm you know, I should yeah. see where it's going. Yeah. yeah it's okay. on Funimation as well. Oh. Yeah. I've been watching on Hulu. On Hulu. Yeah. That's right. But yeah. I think everyone needs their their own like area. Yeah. That they feel like they can they can talk yeah. about. Without anyone yeah. else. This is, this is yeah. my space. This is my space. There's Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all are my f- three of my top eight. Did we ever yeah. find out whether Tom really stood for today on MySpace? Oh, Mike. I've never heard of that before. Should we? Should we end the show now? Should we? <laughs> 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 they know too much. They know what Tom stands for in my space. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a good time to uh, yeah. That was the perfect segue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for another week, you guys. Yes, thanks we're so watching. much. watching. We're now maybe listening. Yes. Um, also, like we said, we're still we're still trying to get the show out there. We're still trying to get it known. Uh, yeah. Please tell your friends. Please. please uh, Watch, watch it, and then force them to watch it with you, but yeah. on their account. Do it, do what Cole does with anime. When yeah. he wants someone to watch anime, he just puts it on. Maybe the next time, maybe you're at some sort of social gathering celebrating a baby shower wedding. or a wedding, <laughs> funeral, um, and maybe you just like I don't know, put on fan service in the background, see what happens. Yeah, you, you know, don't, you never know. You never know until you try. Grammy could sit up out of the coffin and be like, "I love anime." <laughs> <laughs> Granime's back! Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Just like grandpa. (laughs) Just like (laughs) grandpa.